Hello everybody, my name is Virus Alertable and I am back with the final video of the Windows 1.0 series. Today we will be looking at Windows 1.01 through 1.04. Now there were some very big changes in 1.01. Let's first take a look at the setup. It looks different, doesn't it? If you guys have went back to look at my Windows 1.0 Premiere Edition, this you guys didn't see some of this. The the uh, boxes looked like they were made with just using the, the dash and the hyphen keys, but now this actually looks like they used the lines, and it looks sort of the same, except we have one. Uh, we have some new stuff. Here we go. We have two new uh, mouse pointers that we could choose from. And also, here, um, we have one more floppy disk. We have the right program, which we did not have in the Windows Premiere Edition install. Now, Windows 1.0 was released on November 20th, 1985. So this is the first release that was released publicly and made it on retail shelves. Here we go. We are going to go right ahead and jump right into it. Look at that. Windows 1.01 in full color. The first Windows to provide full color. Premiere Edition provided color to some applications, but here in 1.01 you get full color, which is amazing we still have our zoom options as you can see we have a green background we click on the about and we can see version 1.01 copyright 1985 Microsoft Corporation very nice Windows 1.01 sold for $99 on retail shelves in the US and in about two and in, in about $220 in US money so about a hundred bucks would get you this operating system, five, six floppy disks, and a, a couple, but maybe about 30 minutes of your time on actual hardware, and you could get this all the way up. You would need DOS 3.34, uh, actually, excuse me, DOS DOS 3.34 and up to run Windows. 1.01 um this is pretty much about it for windows 1.01 uh on the retail box is a little cool thing on the retail box it they didn't even name it an operating system it wasn't named an operating system by microsoft on the box on the retail box it was named more of um was it how do you it was made more of a DOS applicant that uh, basically a DOS manager that's what it was more you know considered as here we got our calendar and I didn't know um, I don't know if I missed this in Premiere Edition but you can set an alarm which is pretty cool sorry we can't test it right now um, but we can have an alarm so you can see everything else looks very nice. Uh, you have your colors, you can save changes. That's what the right program's for, is to save changes to the operating system that you have made. And as you can see, the control panel looks the same. Everything relatively looks the same. Um, I haven't checked the printers, but um, I will put up an annotation in the video if I did che if to check the printers to see if they put any new printers or anything. But, yeah, this is the very first release of Windows 1.01. And as you can see, it does save your documents. You do have your notepad. You can do somewhat of multitasking. Uh, overlapping Windows doesn't come in until 2.03 of, I believe. It's nice. And we have paint. Paint hasn't pretty much changed. Everything's the same. We are going to draw a little happy face here, and we're gonna save that and see if that happens. If you guys haven't noticed, Windows 1.01 has some ideas that were found in the original Macintosh OS uh, that was released in 1984, and the Zor and the Xeorx 
star system. As we all know, it was Microsoft's attempt at doing a user, a multitasking operating system for the IBM PC. This could run multiple DOS applications as it was an OS. You could do as many applications as you could. And that's pretty much it. There's really nothing else. Reverse you looks quite the same. There's really nothing else to say about Windows 1.01. There's not much, a lot that's known about it either. But we do know some of the changes. Anyways. We're gonna pro we're gonna have to start ending off Windows 1.01. And we are going to start transitioning into Windows 1.02. As you can see, it did save our our little smiley face. So we are now going to start transitioning into Windows 1.02. So guys, be a little patient as I transition the video to Windows 1.02. Alrighty guys, seeing you in a little bit. Alrighty, we are now in Windows 1.02 installation looks relatively the same as you can see except we have another program and we have this new screen where we can choose your keyboard so we are going to choose the United States keyboard which is the number 24 as you can see and we also have a new mouse pointer which is the FTG data no new no new graphics and then we have one more floppy disk on here I believe it was the fonts, and I will correct that mistake in the video with an annotation if I'm wrong. Windows 1.02 was a minor update to Windows 1.01. It shipped in the early in early 1986, and as you guys saw, it included new support for additional keyboards and languages. Nice, it's very nice. It was on the, if you guys want to know the exact date, it was released on the 15th of, no, of uh, January 1986. Windows 2, uh, 1.02 isn't very different. The only minor update was the new support for keyboards and support for new languages. As Microsoft saw, started seeing that pe more, more and more people started using their operating system. Every t everything is relatively the same. Color scheme looks the same. Windows looks the same. Not many major updates. Just adding some new language is and some new keyboards for new keyboards. This was, um, as we already stated, the 15th of January, 1986. Not a very big update. <laughs> not very interesting, is it? There's not that much known about it. It's just a very minor update, but it is a pretty dang good update for new languages, for more, for um, Microsoft to stretch its arms for more people to use their operating system. This also required MS-DOS 3.32 and up to operate. So, we're going to transition into Windows 1.03. Let's do this. As you can see, installation looks relatively the same. This looks the same. And here we go. A little minor change here. They added the AT&T 6300 keyboard and then the United States has been moved from 24 to 1. They have also added a new mouse which is the AT&T. They have added three more video adapters, the AT&T, AT&T and micro display systems. So a lot more support. So you can see Microsoft started to stretch their arms. That was really the major changes include new support for new devices, improved drivers and support for MS-DOS 3.2. There were Germans and French versions, and debug symbols are available. And in the Dutch Tulip OEM PC98, there was a Japanese version of it. And the Deck Rainbow versions also existed, which was in Japanese. That is impressive. 
you could see how much Microsoft started growing at that time. This version of Windows was released about a month after 1.02. As you can see, minor updates. It was released on the 24th of August, 1986. A little fun fact about this, a, dri a, dri a dri dri device driver library for this version was also released in 1987. Now there is two very slightly different versions of 1.03. There was the 24th of August and the 21st of August. The little tiny changes is there was a slight change in the user.exe. Um, this was uh, the newer user.exe, which was the 24th of August, was shipped on retail Microsoft disks, but the 21 version. The older user.exe is confirmed to have been shipped on at least some OEM disks, and they have, and they may or may not have been shipped like that. So just a minor change. It looks like it was a last-minute decision. Now, we're going to quickly transition to Windows 1.04. Here we are, installation. Again, nothing very special. Everything looks relatively the same. Everything looks nice. And another minor change, they have to, they have changed the USA keyboard to be the IBM Incompatibles USA, and it still stays on the top. Drivers are relatively the same for the mouse device. So you can see display drivers are the same. This was the last release of the Windows 1.0 series. It was released in... Uh, that's April uh, 8th, 1987. It's about six months before Windows 203, 2.0.3 came out, which is very nice. Um, a little thing about Windows 1.04, it is speculated that new IBM PCs with the new PS2 drivers it, that Windows 1.04 supported that. As you can see, we have a little change in that little dial block box that it said copyright 1985 and 1986. Anyways, there was speculation that some OEM installs of the newer IBM line that contained the PS2 mouse driver, which is big because that was a big revolutionary thing for a new PS2 device. Other changes include bug fixes and a new boot screen, which I will be popping up right now. It's essentially the boot screen that was used in Windows 2.x series, so we I will be posting that boot screen up uh, on the video, so you guys can take a look at that, what it looked like. And that's relatively it, there's nothing much else it looks to me i don't know if it's just my eyes but it looks like reversi was stretched a little bit it doesn't look it looks a little bigger the the reversi looks a little bit more bigger than it usually did i don't know if that's just my eyes or if it's always been like that but that's how i see it anyways guys i'm gonna have to end off the video this was the final video for windows 1.0 series Alrighty, guys thank you guys so much for watching please subscribe like and comment and I'll be seeing you guys later. Virus Alertable, signing off.